Hello guys. In this video, I am going to show you how to create CMOS inverter symbol in LT Spice. The first thing to do is draw the schematic. A CMOS circuit is composed of two MOSFETs. The top is a PMOS type device, while the bottom is an NMOS type. The drain must be connected together, since the drain for PMOS is at the top, so to bring it in convenient form, first select the device, then press Ctrl plus R to rotate it. To flip it, press Ctrl plus E. So now what we are going to do is select wire and then connect the drain as well as the gate terminals. Next, let us put some net labels to the gate, drain, and sources. Click on the label net icon, type V in, and place it at the input. We need three more, so put one here, one for the output, and one for the inmos. Let's change this one to VDD. This one to V output or V out. And this one for the V ground. Now connect the input voltage to the gate, output voltage to the drain, positive voltage or VDD to the PMOS and ground to the NMOS source. That is how the CMOS inverter circuit looks like. And this is a digital inverter. So, if you look at the logical operation for zero input or logic law, you will get one at the output. And for one or high input, we will get zero at the output. You will learn the operation better after doing the simulation. So now let us create a symbol for this circuit. First we need to save this circuit. Go to the file, save as. No matter in which folder you are gonna save it, I am going to save it in LTS underline leaf folder. Name it as inverter and click on save. So to create a symbol, go to the file and click on new symbol. A new window will open. We are to draw our symbol. By using the tools in the draw menu, we can draw symbols using line, rectangle, circle, arc, and so on. Okay, let's click on line. Then draw the CMOS inverter logic symbol. Bring a circle. Let us put it in the convenient plus. In the next step, we need to name the pins the same as we have given previously, here in the inverter schematic. So we need to add four pins, V in, V out, V D D and V G or ground. Go to edit, click on add pin, type V in. OK, place it at the input. Similarly, do for the other pins. Once again, let me remind you that the name of pins must be similar to the pins that have created previously. Now use line to connect all the pins to the inverter symbol. Connect output pins to this circle and finally connect ground. So now we have the basic inverter symbol. And the final thing that we need to do is go to edit, 
and edit attributes change symbol type to cell so plugins like a spice primitive symbol like resistor voltage source mosfet and so on so by changing symbol type to cell that tells lt spice that there will be a schematic which is parallel to this symbol click ok then go to attribute window and select an stand name it helps you that when placing the first inverter the second will be pop up automatically third and so on next save it to the same folder that you have already saved the schematic and gave the same name inverter it will not overlap because the saving type is different for the inverter symbol it is asy but for it is schematic circuit it was asc click on save so now let's create a new schematic to see how the inverter symbol looks like go to the component and change the top directory to the symbol path if you couldn't find your symbol path here you should save the schematic into the same folder of your symbol path or you can do that from the tools as i did in the previous video if you need to see that i will put the link in the description so you can check that so that is how our inverter symbol looks like now let's test our CMOS inverter whether it works properly or not we need two input voltage sources one for the input and another for the VDD pin connect them next add ground to the voltage sources and ground pin now let me give values for voltage sources give 5 volt here let me also give 5 volt create label net for the output v out click ok and place it here so according to the logic operation of inverter if we give high input we should get low output and if we give low input we should get high output let me test that however we are doing DC simulation we again need to mention some time let us give it 0 0.5 second okay let us first measure the input voltage it is 5 volt but at the output voltage we should get 0 volt yes we get 0 volt as we expected let us look at the other possibilities give 0 volt at the input now at the output we should get 5 volt run again 0 volt at the input yes we get 5 volt at the output and the simulation works let's give the step input in order to make it more professional right click on the input voltage source advanced then select pulse function let's give 5 volt t rise 1 nanosecond t false 1 nanosecond t on 0 0.5 second and t period 1 second click ok run the circuit once again let us draw both the input and output waveforms the waveforms are not looked completely let us increase the transient time change it to 5 click ok and run again now it looks better when the input voltage is high the output voltage is low and when the input voltage is low the output voltage is high 
To see the waveforms better, let us add one more plot pen. Just drag and drop it here in the blank space. So we can say that if the input of the inverter is at logic high and the output is at logic low level. And we can say the opposite. If the input voltage of the inverter is at logic low and the output is at logic high level. For this transient simulation, the low logic level is at 0 volt and the high logic level is at 5 volt. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching.